Hey everyone, this is Ross and today I just wanted to show you my new stick insect tank stand that I made. Um, I made it in about 2 or 3 hours so it was really quick and it was really fun. Um, not many of my viewers actually know I have stick insects as pets because I never really feature them in my videos. I've only ever shown them uh, I think twice. Uh, one of the times was like my third video and another time it was kind of a room tour so most people just skip to the end but um, yeah so here they are and what I like to do is when I wake up in the morning I like to see all my pets so my fish are over there so I can just um, when I'm having a lie in on the morning open my eyes look at them it's quite nice calming um, so I just thought I'd put my stick insects there like right next to my head um, my parents aren't too happy with the idea of having bugs so close to us but I like it so yeah um, I made it out of the spare MDF that I used for this uh, my lighting canopy so I had quite a bit spare so I put it to good use and I made this and I've got none left now like literally none so I used it all up and it's quite a cute little height I mean it's not tall it's about waist height and it's in line so I can see it on the morning um, so yeah, I'll just show you my stick insects a bit because not many of you have actually seen them. So I've got two there. I used to have ten, um, but eight of them died out and that's not because of uh, anything I've done. It's just the life cycle. Um, I got them like eight months ago as eggs from AB. I got ten eggs for one pound, so that's like one dollar twenty, something like that. And it was just a great deal. I thought why not, I'll buy 10 eggs and then um, they hatched within 2 months and they've been alive for 6 months so they start dying out at about 6 months old and then 8 months you'll very rarely get a stick insect to live but um, yeah most of the time they just spend upside down in the day but at night you, you kind of hear them scratching around on the leaves down here and they lay eggs like crazy because they're hermaphrodites so that means they don't need a male or female to produce fertile eggs. They just pump them out regardless. So there's a few eggs back there. But uh, one downside to having them as pets is the poo a heck of a lot. All this poo down here. I only uh, cleaned this out three days ago. But uh, it's it's not hard to clean out. Just pick them up, put them in their little tub, take all, all the ivy out and take this out. Um, paper towel so it's not bad to clean out um, I'll just show you all the eggs I've got off them in the time I've had them and it's all these I counted about 90 so the majority I might sell on eBay if anyone wants some leave us a private message and um, I'll sort you out a cheap deal on eBay um, yeah I'll, I'll give you a quote but um, I'm not sure if anyone wants them um, the greatest fish food, you can feed them a fighting fish. And also when the hatch, you can feed them a fish. It seems a little harsh, but it's just kind of like squishing a spider on a wall. So, um, yeah, good food for fish or reptiles. And they're quite cool pets. Um, I've never actually fed them a fish, because I think it's a little cruel. But, yeah, you can, I suppose. Um, so, back to the stand. I used some tiny screws. I'll give you a comparison to my finger so they are really small and the reason why they're so small is because this is six millimeters thick so it's really thin um, so yeah I think I mentioned I rounded them I rounded these two corners make it look a bit more stylish I didn't use any sandpaper or files I just used my electric saw and it just worked great um, I made it a bit more stylish by having like an overhang so it's overhanging there and I've got two shelves in as well. I just put them in. So I haven't started putting stuff on them yet because I've literally just stood this tank, this stand here. Um, so yeah, I can put all my fish bottles and stuff there, like plant fertilizers and stuff. Just stick them on there, and that's where I'm gonna keep my fish stuff from now on. Um, so yeah, hopefully my room should be a bit tidier. Having said that, it'll probably get messy within a week. But yeah, it's a cute little stand. And I made sure to make the bottom uh, 
bigger than the top just for stability because you don't want it tipping over um, this tank's really light because it's made of plastic but uh, yeah I, I just didn't want it tipping over in case I knocked it or something um, I'm thinking about putting the fish tank here when these die out I'm not sure whether I keep sticking six or just get like a, a fighting fish in this tank because it's 10 litres it's about four or five gallons um, so yeah fighting fish should be okay in here I'm thinking maybe a female um, but I'm not too sure on that um, another idea that I had was to get some acrylic off eBay and make a taller tank for stick insects because they like climbing so much and this tank's pretty low for them I mean they've still got plenty of space but I'd like it to be taller like go up to about there and really skinny I think that looks quite nice so we'll see about that I'll keep you updated um, so yeah I really like it I was considering it um, painted the colour of my walls like a bluish because I've still got some of that paint left but then I thought it kind of matches in with the theme of my room it's kind of like a beach colour so that table's beach so it kind of matches in and my wardrobe's beach and that's beach so I've just left it I don't think it looks too bad um, so yeah it looks good um, I did make one mistake with the, with the screws Unfortunately, one screw is coming through there, but it's hardly noticeable. So yeah, um, if you like this stand, and please like the video and leave a nice comment. Um, I just want to do a quick update on my 15 gallon. I've been getting a bit of algae on the sides. It's not too bad, I suppose. Um, after a week, it's normal to get a bit of algae, but uh, this is a bit more than what I'd usually like. And it's because last water change I put a bit of this Sarah Florena, it's like a plant fertilizer in and it's just way too much nutrients for this tank I mean the dirt's giving it enough nutrients as it is so I think I kind of overloaded it nutrient wise but I won't be adding any more of that in the future but uh, yeah isn't too bad um, another thing I just wanted to say was how crazy the dwarf sage is going with the new lights there's a new shoot there, there's a new shoot there, there's one there, there's one on the front of the glass and today I just noticed that tiny one down there, um, down the side here, there's one actually waiting to come up, there's one that's just come up so it's really crazy the amount of dwarf sag growth I've had, I might have to sell some of that off soon as well. Um, the hygrophilia is doing great. Um, M. Bezik give us that. Um, I just want to update them on it. It's really doing great. I can't see how great it's been. Um, there's been no spot algae on it. And yeah, it's grown straight up right now. So that was just a quick update on the um, hygrophilia. And Anubius has actually got a brand new leaf. It's um, very light green. And it's grown in within about a week. So I'm really happy with that and the tank's just taken off thanks to the new lights even the moss has grown quite crazy I mean it's a slow grower but I've had a lot of growth lately um, so yeah that was just an update on my 15 gallon and a quick tour of my uh, stick insect stand um, I hope this vid hasn't bored you too much um, so yeah if you like the vid then please Thumb it up, uh, leave a nice comment, ask us questions, and subscribe. And um, by the way, if you've got any questions about setting up a new tank, or if you want to know about any plants or any fish, stocking, anything like that, just leave a private message, and I can give you a message as long as you want it to be, because um, it's Friday, so I'm not doing anything. Um, so yeah, I can give you a great big long message to help you out. I quite enjoy helping people, so yeah, that's it. Bye.